For the last few days, we've been road tripping down Minnesota's North Shore, visiting waterfalls and historic sites, eating delicious food, exploring town, and seeing beautiful views from the U.S.-Canada border all the way down to Grand Marais. And today we're continuing our trek southwest and squeezing in as many adventures as we can, including another state park, beautiful hikes, more waterfalls, lake views, and a delicious treat, starting with a hike to Bean and Bear Lakes. The trail is between six and a half and seven miles and has a little bit more than a thousand feet of elevation gain. And one thing we haven't mentioned yet is there's a really long trail here on the North Shore called the Superior Trail. It runs for 310 miles along the shores of Lake Superior and you can do the whole thing as one big through hike or you can do individual sections of it. We've already done a portion of it when we did Devil's Kettle Falls and this trail is on the Superior Trail as well. So far the trail's not too bad. It's a mix of ups and downs, some rocky parts. They have some boardwalks, some parts where you're just kind of on a standard trail. It's mostly through the forest, but you do get little peaks of views every now and then. First lake views. We made it to Bear Lake. We're actually on this overlook, overlooking both lakes. The one closest to us is Bear Lake, and then off in the distance is Bean Lake, where we just came from. And what a view. This hike has been so gorgeous. We've seen so many photos of this hike. It's one of the more iconic ones in the area, but still totally exceeded our expectations. Minnesota is just so gorgeous, especially this kind of North Shore, North Woods area. It's completely just blown us away. It's such a gem. It's definitely going on our list of states that have completely surprised us Heck by how yeah. gorgeous they are. <laughs> Kind of a cloudy day and to be honest we haven't had the best weather since we've been here it's either been cloudy or smoky but it's kind of just giving us fall vibes it's early august right now but the weather's cooler it's kind of gray out and i don't know if you can tell some of the trees are already turning yellow we really would have loved to have been here in the fall so this is kind of a good consolation prize 
on the way back you can either do this trail as a loop or you can go back the same way you came we want to go back the same way we came because there's actually a little spur trail that'll take you down to the lake we want to check that out and have lake views along the way back to the van but after that we're going to book it back because we have a lot more to see today area just right off the highway where there's a visitor center and this area is actually free to explore and first up we are going to do a 1.2 mile hike to Shovel Point. We're maybe 60 seconds into this little hike to Shovel Point and we came across this viewpoint waves crashing under against the shore here there's these little caves it's carving into it with the trees and just jagged cliffs this is a beautiful spot the waves are massive they are crashing so hard Waves are crashing. We got sidetracked again going to Shovel Point. This is Superior Beach. The waves are huge and they're just like pounding onto the rocks, splashing up everywhere. If you didn't tell me we were in Minnesota, I would think we were in like Oregon or Washington on the coast. Like this feels like the ocean and the waves are just nuts. That was 1,000% worth all the millions of stairs oh, you had to climb awesome. to get here. 
I cannot get over this place. I, I keep thinking we're in the Pacific Northwest. It's just... Oh. I like what you said. You said if you drop us, if you, if you didn't tell us where we were, we would think we were in Oregon or on the Washington coast. Yeah, this what? place is really cool. Seriously, Minnesota. You've been hiding it's from us. It's going up on my states list so fast. <laughs> Next up, we're gonna go to High Falls, which is in a different area of the park. You can hike from here and it'd be about three miles and it'd be free, or you can drive to a different trailhead and it's about one and a half miles, but it's $7, but we're tired. So I think we're just gonna drive. <laughs> We thought that there would just be a pay station here where you could just put some cash in an envelope, but they have a QR code that you scan and it takes you to a website and you can buy a permit online. And there's just barely enough service on Verizon to make it work, but you'll probably buy one at the visitor center as well. We just were very confused. The hike to the falls is a quick 0.7 miles and you may remember from a previous video, we went to another high falls. That one has another name of Pigeon Falls and it was apparently claimed to be the highest waterfall in Minnesota. But that one's on the border with Canada. This one is fully inside the border of Minnesota, so I think it's technically the highest one completely in Minnesota. High Falls was very beautiful, also very busy. We saw a sign for another waterfall called Two Step Falls. So we're gonna go check that one out too. This one's way cooler than I thought it was gonna be. So we were gonna go down these 200 steps and it was gonna be a little dinky one. Made one more quick stop in the state park. We came to Palisade Head, which is a 300 foot cliff with Lake Superior just crashing against the rocks way down below. It was crazy. There were some people out there going over the edge and climbing down and climbing back up. Mm -mm. No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a super quick stop. You just drive up the road, park, get out and look at it. So it doesn't take much time at all. No hiking required, unless you're us, because it said no oversized vehicles. So we had to park at the bottom and walk up the whole road. So for most people it's quick, but for us it was kind of a workout. <laughs> We made it to one of the most unique stops on the North Shore, Black Beach, which as the name implies, is a black sand beach, which we've only ever seen in Hawaii and now in Minnesota. 
The color comes from taconite, which is a low-grade iron ore. Local miners dumped it into the lake years ago, and I guess it turned the beach black. <laughs> If you haven't been able to tell by the majority of this video, it is crazy windy out today. We basically cannot talk outside on camera without it just sounding like a giant windstorm. <laughs> so we were supposed to have a picnic on Black Beach with a special treat that we bought, but we're now having it in the front seat of the van. But that's okay because it'll still taste delicious. We have a North Shore Institution, a treat that many of you recommended, Betty's Pies. Betty's Pie began back in 1956 when Betty's father built a fish shack on Highway 61 and Betty thought it would be a good idea to have some goodies for the fishermen so she started making donuts and coffee for them to enjoy. One thing led to another and she started selling hamburgers and hot dogs and then in 1958 she turned the fish stand into a cafe that she named Betty's Cafe and added pies to the menu. Over time, Betty's Cafe has expanded and the pie menu has definitely expanded with lots of options. And although Betty passed away a few years ago, they're still continuing her legacy on the North Shore. Earlier in the day, we took about an hour detour to go to Betty's Pies because we hear that they start to run out of flavors later in the day and we wanted the full pick of the menu. We went in with full intentions of ordering one slice of pie, but then y'all know us, we have to, uh, we got to get two. So <laughs> we ordered two. And there was an order mix up and so we went to go and switch it back out to get the correct one and for whatever reason they were like this one's small so we'll give you two and so check out what they gave us they gave us an extra one we have three pies. I think they were just trying to make us happy and boy did they <laughs> so the first pie we got is the Great Lakes pie this has five delicious fruits that signify the Great Lakes so there's apple blueberry rhubarb strawberry and raspberry and then there is a crumble, like a crunch crumble on top. I think it's oats and brown sugar, brown sugar and deliciousness. And this tall piece of pie is a Butterfinger pie. We're not 100% sure what's in it. It's a cream pie and it looks like it might have pieces of Butterfinger inside of it. Looks like it has a layer of chocolate underneath just above the crust and then Butterfingers on top and a chocolate drizzle. Oh, baby. That is so creamy and fluffy, has a nice crunch from the crust. You get that nice little layer of chocolate on the bottom. I don't know for sure what the actual cream pie is, like if it's flavored or anything like that, but you get the nice little Butterfinger crunch and the chocolate flavor. Mm. Once Love it, hit, it first bite. <laughs> once it hits the lips. <laughs> so decadent, nice little crunchy bits in there. Yeah, this is like the what's inside the Butterfinger. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Piece looks so good. Yeah, I'm, this is ridiculous. The crust is so flaky too, and and buttery. Pumped for this one. I love fruit pies, and then this crispiness part on top is gonna be awesome. I can just already tell. It tastes so sweet and so fresh. You have nice big chunks of fruit in there. Mmm. That is actually way better than I thought it would be. It has like the sweetness like Adam mentioned, but I even got like a little bit of tartness in there too. It's just lots of flavor in there and that crumble on top. Mm. It just has like a really fresh, refreshing, is refreshing a word to describe pie? I don't think so, but it tastes kind of refreshing. <laughs> You're probably not gonna be surprised, but we destroyed both of those pies. We do have a third one that we're gonna save for later. Let us know what the chances of it making it through the night. I think the uh, the chances are pretty slim. <laughs> We're in a slight pie coma, but we do have one more stop we want to make on our Minnesota North Shore road trip. Our final stop on the North Shore is Split Rock Lighthouse State Park. And there are a couple different ways you can explore the state park. You can either pay eight to $12 per adult to get access to the lighthouse grounds, where you can do a self-guided tour and kind of see the lighthouse more up close and personal, 
or you can pay the $7 entrance fee for the state park and get access to the areas outside the grounds. I believe we parked at Pebble Beach and we're currently on the hunt to find this lighthouse, but we have not seen it yet. But we also learned while we were here that since we paid the $7 entrance fee at Teta Gooch State Park earlier, that covers us for the entire day at all Minnesota State Park. So we only had to pay for one park, but we're getting to access two. Split Rock Lighthouse was built in 1910 on a 130-foot tall cliff. It was meant to guide ships through the stormy waters of Western Lake Superior, and its light can reach 22 miles. What a day, that was a jam packed day. We probably wouldn't recommend doing everything we did in one day. And we originally had two days to do this, but we had a change of plans and so we only had one day, but we wanted to see as much as we could. So we did it all. <laughs> There is one spot that we were hoping to check out, but we just don't have time for, and that's Gooseberry Falls State Park, which is one of the most popular state parks in Minnesota. So go check it out if you're in the area, and we'll have to come check it out next time, because there will be a next time. Oh yeah. We love it here. But for now, we're gonna continue our trek down the North Shore to Duluth, and then tomorrow, we're gonna spend the day eating and exploring all around the city. Minnesota's new slogan should be, Nature's Stairmaster, although, they built the stairs, so Minnesota, land of 10,000 steps. <laughs> I guess it turned the beach, the beach black. <laughs> and in 1958, what happened in 1958? Turned into a cafe. Okay. Vlogging behind the scenes. We're hiding in a bush because it's too windy to talk anywhere else. <laughs> <laughs>